So uh, what does the U.S. voter's decision mean for South Korea? Now, in this piece uh, next, our Oh Soo-young tells us how South Koreans are reacting and how experts here expect the bilateral relationship between Seoul and Washington to unfold in the coming years. I think his ideologies are radical and scary. I think with the U.S. influence on the world, a more sincere leader should have been elected. It's like a crazy soap opera. His character doesn't seem sound enough to run a country. I did say it coming and I welcome the choice. I think Americans have made a rational decision. I'm stunned. My head is spinning. This is going to bring a lot of changes and complicate our relations with the U.S. in terms of security. Most South Koreans were gravely concerned about Donald Trump becoming the next head of state of the U.S. A poll conducted by a Chinese daily newspaper shows that 93 percent of South Koreans said they preferred Clinton over Trump, the highest approval rating out of seven countries surveyed. Trump's outlandish statements during his electoral campaign stirred negative sentiment among the South Korean public, especially with his remarks on how Seoul should shoulder the full burden of U.S. troops stationed in the country. As such, Trump's America First policy in foreign relations is expected to cause much uncertainty in South Korea. Having Trump as president makes it difficult for us to predict the next U.S. administration's stance on foreign policy. Major Republican officials have said they will not work with Trump, so we don't know who will form the policies, especially those on Asia and the Korean Peninsula. His administration may test the waters of the two countries' security cooperation. I do not think uh, Donald Trump uh, has a coherent and a carefully crafted a foreign policy uh, toward the Korean Peninsula. Uh, his rough comment on South Korea's free ridership uh, has damaged his reputation in Korea. And his, and his uh, um, idea of pulling out American forces as a retail, retaliatory measure, unless uh, we shoulder the uh, full burden of cost sharing, that means uh, the ROC-US alliance will face a significant challenge. Trump's stance on North Korea and its threat to peace and regional stability presents even more ambiguity. With North Korea's continual provocations, including two nuclear tests and several missile launches this year alone, the regime's weapons capabilities are expanding beyond the region. Up until now, the threat from North Korea only extended to South Korea and Japan, but in the future, the U.S. mainland will also be endangered. So it's no longer about America intervening in Asian affairs. It is now a security risk of their own. During the presidential race, Trump spoke out on North Korea, saying that he was willing to sit down for talks with the regime's leader, Kim Jong-un. However, many analysts doubt that he currently has a substantive policy line on Pyongyang. An immediate discussion with North Korea or a drastic change to the Obama administration's policies is unlikely. However, many Republican officials believe the current government is too lenient on China and its deep ties to the regime. So it's highly likely that a Trump administration would call for more pressure on China. Regardless of U.S. policies, most experts expect North Korea to press on with its nuclear and missile programs, which it regards as crucial to ensuring its survival. The chances of denuclearization on North Korea's part are low, as the regime's ultimate goal is to gain recognition as a nuclear state. The international community will not accept that, of course, so it's difficult to have meaningful negotiations in this situation. Many think North Korea responds to the international community through its provocations, but it's actually following a schedule of its own. It will continue to pursue the development of intercontinental ballistic missiles and submarine-launched ballistic missiles that can attack America. So the friction on the peninsula won't decrease, it will intensify. While it's unclear on how Trump will lay out the roadmap for his country's relations with South Korea, experts say Seoul needs to cooperate with the new administration during its transition period next year by providing essential information and recommending measures that aim to secure the partnership between South Korea and the U.S., as well as the stability of the region. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.